If you don't know much about art, this could be the place to learn. This exhibition was an opportunity for us to um, look at objects in our collection through the lens of um, artists who are inspired by science or, or deal with some type of scientific uh, principles in their work. The exhibit is more than just pictures and sculptures. It does a lot to do with nature and science and I just think it's really interesting and it makes people think and that's what I love is people aren't expecting it when they come into the museum. But they could also mean something special to a little girl who is just nine years old. A picture of a head with hair that wraps starts here and wraps around over here and then it's brown hair with a white face. One of many things that is interesting about this museum here at Utah State is the Dorothy and Herbert Vogel collection. There were a couple in New York who owned over 2,500 pieces, and they decided that they were going to donate 50 to every state. I was called to 50 works for 50 states. In fact, if you didn't know, Utah State University Museum holds those pieces for the state of Utah. Interesting. For a professor of music, Art and music go hand in hand. We are artists. We're given, we're given a palette of music and we have to interpret it. On top of the exhibit being interesting, for Jeffrey Friedley, it made him reminisce. This place reminds me of a museum I used to go to as a child and high school student in my hometown, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I really appreciate the eclectic nature of all of this stuff down here. Tori Green. ATV News.